Welcome everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, so we are from uh, Food and Bioproduct Sciences Department. I hope uh, you can hear me. Um, so my name is uh, Supratim Ghosh. I am an uh, associate professor in the Department of Food and Bioproduct Sciences. And today, uh, along with me, we have Professor Michael Nickerson and Elise, uh, our undergraduate student. So, uh, Mike, can't you guys uh, introduce yourself? Go ahead. Um, my name's Elise. I'm in my third year of my undergraduate in food and bioproduct science here at the University of Saskatchewan. We can't hear you, Mike. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Mike, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, but uh, it's cutting off. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, Elise, go ahead. <laughs> um, my name's Elise. I'm in my third year of my undergraduate in food and bioproduct science. Okay, so we have a uh, presentation for you and uh, some uh, videos to watch, and uh, followed by there will be a time to you know for if you have any question for us. So I'm going to share my screen and start, and when Dr. Nickerson joins. Uh, he will introduce uh, when he will uh, speak. So let me do that. So Elise, can you uh, see my screen? Yes. OK. So uh, we prepared a brief presentation about uh, you know, what is food science, uh, because this is not a very common uh, you know, area that you hear like physics, chemistry, biology. Um, so we want to let you guys know what is uh, it about. Um, so by definition, you know, IFT, Institute of Food Technologists, uh, the largest food science uh, society, they say that it's a discipline in which uh, biology, physical science, engineering are used to study nature of foods, their causes of deterioration, and the principles underlying food processing. And that's food science. And the food technology is the application of food science in the selection of material, preservation of food, processing of food, their packaging, their distribution, and safety of food. So uh, if you think that it's really a multidisciplinary or interdisciplinary field of study. So as a food scientist or as a food science student, you know, you have to study microbiology, chemistry, nutrition, engineering, physics, biology, uh, and so, and but all of these things you actually study with a more applied. So what you see in your daily life, what you eat in your daily life, we study them using all of these different field of study. And also there is another additional field that is very specific to food science, sensory science. So where we study you know, why some people like a food. If a company is launching a new food, they want to know whether the consumer will like it. So that kind of uh, study is under sensory science. So uh, we have a brief video to start with, you know, role of food science in modern society. Um, so you know, food science is behind what happens to farm, farm gate when the food comes out as crops and then till it reach your table. So let's uh, watch uh, the video. Imagine a world where all of the things that keep your food fresh and plentiful no longer existed. 
Imagine a world with no food choices, or no specialty foods of any kind. Imagine a world where nutrition is just a guessing game, or a world where food is unappealing, or too expensive, or perhaps just inconvenient. Imagine a world where the food you buy for your family is simply unsafe. It's a scenario that could leave you feeling empty. The good news? Right now, all around the world, thousands of highly trained, dedicated food science professionals are preventing this frightening scenario from becoming a reality. They're developing wholesome, nutritious foods. They're creating the packaging that keeps your food safe. And they're making sure you have a variety of foods that are abundant, convenient, affordable, and delicious to keep you and your family healthy and happy. To learn more, visit worldwithoutfoodscience.org. So you can see that, you know, our role as a food scientist and food science is quite important to keep our society, modern society running. Um, let's talk a little bit about history, you know, how food science uh, came into our modern food science, how it became. So, you know, human, we eat food, of course, for thousands and thousands of years. So uh, you can say that, you know, in 10,000 BC, milling of cereal grains into flour and baking, so that's probably the beginning of food science. Then around 4000 BC, we people realized that, you know, the, you need to preserve your food, not only, you know, having fresh food, preservation is important. So they started smoking your food, salting your food, drying meat and fish so that, you know, you can keep them for a longer time. Obviously, there was no refrigerator at that time. Then uh, grape and barley fermentation, alcohol in 3000 BC. And then very recently, 1800, canning uh, started. And I'm going to tell you that story, how canning started. Uh, later in 1800th century, Louis Pasteur, uh, you know, start uh, discovered that by heating milk to a particular temperature, you can kill all the uh, pathogenic bacteria that can make us sick. So hence started the name, you know, milk pasteurization. So those are the, you can say that kind of the pillars of uh, the modern food science. So let's talk about this, that canning. Uh, you know, Napoleon uh, in Europe, in France, when he uh, wanted to conquer the whole Europe, uh, obviously he wanted uh, food for his uh, army. And uh, so, but he need, need to carry the food with them for many months. So he wanted to preserve food. And uh, so he started a competition among the France uh, and who can come up with an idea how to keep their food safe. So Nicholas Eppert uh, came up with a method that by placing food in a glass bottle and sealing them and immerse them in boiling water, uh, you can actually kill all the bad thing. They didn't know what was that bad thing at that time, but you can keep your food safe. So this is one of the, you know, glass bottle used by Apert. Uh, so that's the beginning of uh, canning. And obviously things have changed a lot since then. Now, you know, you can buy canned food without need for refrigeration and you open it whenever you want and you cook like a fresh food. Uh, so it's a, you know, remarkable change that happened from that 1800 to till today. Um, food science education in the, North America started really from the canning industry. You know, there the, we didn't know why uh, those foods were getting bad. So the spoilage problem in the early days of canning industry led to the involvement of university researchers, and that's how you know they started understanding the, the, using their knowledge of microbiology to food, and that's kind of the beginning of modern food science education. And in North America, uh, there was a strong dairy science program in, and then that slowly became you know, food science. And today there are more than 50 universities in US and more than 10 universities in Canada has dedicated food science program, undergraduate and graduate program. Obviously, you know, our university is, has both undergraduate program and graduate program in food science. 
so uh, i want to give you a brief uh, description about you know different discipline of food science and what we talk like food chemistry in that you will learn what is in your food you will learn the four you know basic component like fat carbohydrate protein micronutrients and water that's another very important component of our food you can find answer to that what makes your steak go brown during barbecuing can chocolate make you healthy what is in that component in chocolate that can make you healthy what makes jello gel how it become a gel how fat is replaced you know when you buy low fat food there's a lot of science behind that what happens to that um, and ice cream you know we study ice cream and in our lab we get to eat ice cream as well so there's parks of you know studying food science food engineering you know we study what happens to food uh, from farm gate to our table the food processing the food how to preserve food you know prevent deterioration improve its preservation food packaging um, and then we study you know our canned food nutritious what goes on in the canning industry why do we need to pasteurize milk uh, why ripening affect fruit color what goes in the fruit that changes the properties of fruit during ripening uh, we also study you know smart food packaging uh, we also study how you know at one example you know cooking oil the one you get from grocery store that goes to a lot, lot of refinement process and why that is essential to get from a crude canola oil to a clear uh, canola oil that you can use to fry your food um then comes food safety and microbiology you know we study what makes you sick when you eat spoiled food so you know there's something uh, well known that you know give bacteria no chance that you cook to proper temperature you separate your cooked and uncooked food do not cross contaminate you wash your hand and surfaces of food preparation often and you refrigerate your food promptly uh, but you know why i mean what is in the food those pathogenic bacteria and how we you can kill them and how we keep our food safe it's studied in food microbiology uh, what does the food industry do to keep our food safe so that's a hugely important part of you know food science but the, there are not all bacteria are bad there are good bacteria obviously you know this brand in you know, one of the uh, famous brands of you know in probiotic yogurt there are good bacteria and that are really good for us as well uh, we also study the influence of food on aging and health how food affect our gene and how food can be used to you know control uh, you know different chronic disease so that also part of uh, something we study in food science uh, nutrition food for health and wellness uh, the functional food I mean, that food that gives you more than just nutrition gives you additional health benefit uh, there is some debate that can food replace medicine so we study you know what is so good about fish oil what's in fish oil that keeps us healthy uh, why drinking tea can help you live longer dietary fiber you know we know they are good but how it is good how can it help can drinking wine prevent cancer so you can get the you know true answer by you know studying food science um, and what i was telling you the last one here is the sensory science the science of food taste so here you can see in that uh, middle photo someone is sitting in a room with red light and closed window with the two wine glasses and or this she's drinking wine from another glass so testing the wine and the room is in red color because you don't see the color you don't get influenced by the color just want to know about taste so these are actually human people participating in experiment and the other photo you see that they are scientists and sitting in a room and testing food evaluating food so they are consumer evaluation and scientist evaluation so both are very important how food industry decides success of a newly launched uh, food product so we talk about you know what's difference between aroma and versus flavor why food tastes so bland when you have a cold if your nose is blocked uh, food does not taste same so why we talk about that also we obviously talk about you know how color texture crispiness you know control whether we would like a food so all of these are part of sensory science in food um there are so these are the basic food science and then we also study food commodities we study dairy chemistry meat science fish and seafood grain chemistry beverage science and chemistry brewing 
the science of baking. So the, each of them of this field has you know, the basic chemistry that you know people study in chemistry. We apply them to something really fun and something really that you eat every day. So you can really relate your science to your you know everyday life. Um, before I give it to Dr. Nickerson, I, this is something important that you know uh, there are very many hot topics in food. Like, are organic food better than conventional food? Should we be concerned about GMOs, uh, genetically modified organisms in our food? Can nanotechnology revolutionize food industry? Uh, how about insect as a yummy snack? Uh, in uh, our researchers in our department, they study insect and they study how the insect uh, flower or the insect protein from insect, how good they are, how they can improve your food quality. Um, Plant-based meat, obviously this is a very hot topic, you know, but they are still not that successful. So we study how you can use a plant protein to create a meat replacers. Um, and then can meat be grown in a laboratory? You know, there are topic talk about, you know, actually there are companies that are working on using stem cells to create uh, meat. So that also, you know, part of food science. So Dr. Nickerson, you want to take it from here? Yeah, no, thanks Dr. Gosh. Dr. Gosh. Um, you still have control over that. So one of the big things uh, when we talk about uh, trying to decide what program to go in is what are the opportunities for you uh, on graduation? And uh, luckily in the food science program, uh, almost all of our graduate find work. The food industry in Canada is one of the largest employers uh, employing over 300,000 uh, across Canada. And it accounts for about one third of Canada's manufacturing G GDP. So it's a really big industry. Uh, we export uh, about 24% of, of our shipments and most of that goes to the US. So that's our, our biggest uh, uh, export market. Uh, but this is a really big industry. Uh, approximately 77% of processed food and beverages are produced in Canada. And I'll show you a slide uh, in the next one. I guess we can go ahead, uh, Dr. Gosh. Um, when we look at the commodities, um, uh, Dr. Gosh mentioned we study each of these commodities, but they represent big sectors in the food industry, whether it's the meat or dairy. Uh, here in the prairies, grain and oil seed is uh, one of the bigger sectors. Um, a number of ingredient plants and companies are, are span across the, uh, the prairie provinces. Um, but we also have commodities in terms of fruits and vegetables, uh, seafood products and aquaculture uh, across the country. So uh, next slide. So there's a number of uh, places where food science works, food scientists work. Uh, one of the big ones is the food and beverage processing sector. So uh, companies that actually produce the, the food product or ingredients, uh, ingredient manufacturers or, or suppliers. So that, that represents uh, close to about 70% of uh, the job market for food scientists. And, and I'll, I'll show you some um, companies, local companies in the next slide uh, that our, our graduates have found work in. Um, or uh, yeah, I guess we'll play after this. But yeah, there's a number of careers, uh, uh, food business entrepreneurship. Uh, so we've had graduates that develop their own companies. Uh, one example is a local kitchen. I'm not sure if you, you've heard about this, but people have, have developed products in a product development class and brought those to market. Um, quality assurance is another big uh, uh, career path in, in food science. Uh, product development is uh, probably the second most uh, next to quality assurance. Uh, technical sales, uh, research and development. So uh, Dr. Gosh talked a lot about the science behind our food. So there's a lot of work in, in research and development at the universities in private companies or government labs that uh, work on, on the research behind these products and help innovate new products and processes for the food industry. There's careers in policy and government regulatory organizations, uh, non-government organizations, so uh, public good. So this is really important in terms of food security. You see a lot of the non-government uh, organizations. Um, they all have roles for food scientists. Uh, culinary technologies, so integrating new products uh, for companies and production management. Uh, next slide. 
So this is just a, a few examples of uh, local companies in which a pirate or graduate. So Key Leaf is a plant-based uh, ingredient company here in Saskatoon that commercializes food and bioproduct ingredients. The Saskatchewan Food and Development uh, Industry Center, uh, they do, uh, is a non-for-profit that helps companies take ideas to market and develop new products and processes. Uh, AGT Foods Ingredients is a plant protein ingredient company who's taken a number of our, our graduates. Uh, the Canadian Food Inspection Agency to make sure that their our food uh, uh, products are safe. Uh, infrared Food Products um, here in, in uh, Saskatoon. Uh, Arjun Mills, which is a big uh, flower manufacturing company. Uh, the Robin Hood Flower, if, if you see downtown. Um, and Agriculture Agri-Food Canada. So there's a, a big research facility here in, in Saskatoon. Uh, next slide. Um, so be, before we uh, play this video uh, about our undergrad program, maybe we'll give it a chance for Elise to say a few words from a student's perspective about our, our programs. Yeah, um, me, I will stop sharing so that you know everyone can see Elise. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, like I said previously, I'm in my third year of my undergrad undergraduate studies of food and bioproduct science. Uh, I have a passion for all things food related, so the Department of Food and Bioproduct Science is the perfect match for me. Um, our department may be one of the smaller departments in the, on campus, but it certainly makes a statement in its friendliness and its uh, passion for science and research and its inclusiveness. Um, what I like most about our program is how diverse the subject matter is, whether it's uh, food processing or microbiology or sustainability or biofuels, it's all encompassed in the FABS program. Um, in this program, I've had ample opportunity to explore career options, to meet with faculty and alumni and participate in department specific events. Um, I've also had the opportunity to work with fellow students and um, take part in our student club to network and develop a support system with our studies. Um, another thing I love about our program is the labs. They are extremely hands-on and interesting and thought-provoking and can be applied to our everyday lives. And um, in our new virtual world, the FABS department has done an excellent job in keeping students and faculty connected and engaged in our community. Thanks, Elise. Thank you. So we'll go back. So, uh, Dr. Nicholson, maybe we will finish the slides and then let students ask questions. And if we have time, then we can come back, watch these videos. What do you think? Sure, that's a good idea. Yeah. So we have a few other videos for you know day in a life of food scientist. But uh, before that, let's talk about this. Yeah, go ahead, please. Oh, okay, so uh, our program or, or department offers two main programs or, or streams. One is uh, the BSA, the Bachelor's of Science in Agriculture, uh, and that's in food and bioproduct sciences. Um, and then we have uh, a Bachelor of Science in Food Science uh, through the College of Arts and Science. So the programs are very similar. There, there's slight differences between the programs. Um, the BSA, we get a little bit more agriculture and, and broad strokes in terms of the agri-food industry. Whereas uh, the BSc in Food Science, we get a, a little bit more of the hardcore sciences like physics and, and chemistry. Uh, next slide. So this just gives you a snapshot of our first year uh, FABS program. So uh, we have uh, some core agricultural courses that gives you a broad perspective of uh, agriculture and agri-food issues. Uh, we learn stuff on our marketing uh, of, of food uh, and we have our, our initial food science uh, window into our program. Uh, we also have uh, courses in the fundamental sciences, biology, chemistry, and uh, economics. Uh, next slide. Um, moving on to year two, this is where we introduce our uh, uh, second year FABS course. So we have our intro to the food science 
uh, introductory to bioproduct sciences and uh, introductory to basically food microbiology. Uh, we also, you also get a, a chance to get some biochemistry, some nutrition and statistics uh, in that uh, second year. Uh, next slide, Super Dean. Uh, in our four, third and fourth year, this is where you get the bulk of the, the food science curriculum. So we offer courses in food chemistry, food microbiology and safety, industrial micro, food processing, food macromolecules, uh, food analysis, quality insurance, uh, food engineering, uh, and, and marketing. Um, we, we also have a number of restrictive electives uh, to complement these core courses. Uh, everything from proteins to carbohydrates to dairy science to, to enzymes to uh, uh, lipids. Um, so we have a, a big uh, spectrum of courses that you can access more than there. So I check online, uh, contact student advisors and see what's available uh, in, in your year. Uh, next slide. So maybe uh, we'll, we'll take some questions, or, or did you want to play that recruitment videos, Dr. Gosh? Well, I was hoping that we will get some questions, and let's okay. see what um, student have any questions or not. So if you have question, I think you can type it in in the chat box, and we will see and give you answer. One of the great things about our program is that we have a, uh, a low uh, um, student or high student to faculty ratio. So there's a lot of uh, uh, contact um, occurring. Okay, I guess if there is uh, no question, why not we play that recru uh, undergraduate recruitment uh, video? And if you have question, you can still type it in. Uh, we will see it. Here is it. Oh, uh, Sebastian may have a, a question. Yeah, please. Oh, sorry. It was uh, just a test. <laughs> <laughs> I'm studying food and let's start from here. Oh, well, you have to share your screen, Dr. Gosh. I'm studying I'm here not sharing? Oh, there you are now. Hmm. Sorry. I'm studying here at the University of Saskatchewan. I'm studying food and bioproduct sciences to the College of Agriculture, and I'm from Saskatoon. I'm currently fourth year in food and bioproduct sciences. And today, I'm studying food and, food and bioproduct science at the University of Saskatchewan. I had a real interest in nutrition, but I thought the science behind food would be more interesting things need to be done in order to uh, feed our growing population and take care of food spoilage that's occurring. You get to know how food and food bioproducts are made and how the various ingredients interact with each other in the foods. It just gets you an idea of how everything works in life and you are like, um, I didn't know that before but now I know and it's so cool. Food is a universal language Everyone needs to eat from different cultures and it represents more than um, the food. It represents more about the culture and other stuff. I have passion in food since I was a little kid. It's my passion. It's my career. I want to do it for my rest of my life. Gatwin is the center of Canada's agriculture, we get a lot of opportunities to work with other experts in other fields, such as 
plant science, soil science, environmental science. The Saskatchewan, as it known, is a bread basket of Canada. So we produce a lot of lentils, peas, wheat, barley, oats, other grains. So as a food and bioproduct science student, I feel blessed that I can use my knowledge to transfer from um, farm to fort. Saskatchewan is very famous for the agriculture side. I feel it will be a good background when you study food because it will have more resources and University of Saskatchewan has a very good food science major. That's why I just came here and also want to experience different culture. I think we have really good facilities here on campus. We have lots of different libraries we can attend to, uh, same with the gym. As well, the campus is quite beautiful to walk through. The university is peaceful and it is safe in Canada. As you know, Canada is a very friendly country with nice people. I really enjoy the life here. The food and bioproduct science program at the University of Saskatchewan is one of the best in the country. It really gives you many choices of what classes you can take based on your own interest and develop a career and a research opportunity out of it. I really like the flexibility of all the classes which interest you and you can choose whatever you want. And also I really like the design of the curriculum because a lot of them relate them really close to the industry. So we do a lot of things in the lab or a lot of research. Food and bioproduct sciences is really going to prepare us for our future careers. We spend a lot of time learning in lab and uh, it kind of sets the setting for where we will end up. I think it's really important to have extracurricular activities um, to keep your stress levels as low as possible. You get to meet new people, you get to actually feel like you're a part of things here on campus and it just kind of brings it all together. I live in the residence, so I have get to know lots of people from different backgrounds. It's a diverse culture, I really like it. After school, I like to work out in our university. We had very good gym facility and we had good library here, so I like to study there as well. get involved with extracurricular activities earlier on. I feel that I started that a little bit late and I wish I had started earlier. It's good to get out of your comfort zone even if you are feeling insecure and the first time you're away from your parents you probably feel frustrated at some point but I think that's the process of growing up and it's great to try something new and take the challenge because that will make you a better person. So, um, that's all we have. I think we are out, I mean, over the time a little bit. So if you have still any question, you can write to us or uh, we we uh, also showed you our email address. Maybe I will show that um, one more time to the students. So you can write to us uh, to this email address fabs.info at usask.ca and uh, we will get back to you as soon as possible. Oh, uh, I think we are hearing no problem with time. So shall we show the video or we will end it here? What do we do? Uh, maybe what?
maybe maybe we will uh, we'll end it. Yeah. Okay, we still have five people watching. But I think um, I mean, the time was until 3 p.m. and uh, you guys have to go to probably another session. And um, so, yeah, so that's all from us. Uh, thank you for your time and listening to our uh, brief presentation. And uh, I hope uh, you will consider food and bioproduct science for your degree program. And please write to us. Thank you, everyone. You have anything? To, yeah, you have anything to add, Elise? Okay. Well, she froze. No, I I can see. She is live. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, everyone. It was uh, really nice uh, being here, talking to you virtually, and uh, have a good rest of the weekend. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Bye.